Welcome to Race Radio from Stage 6 of the Amgen Tour of California. I'm Joe Lindsay. I'm here with Frankie Andreo. Uh, today's stage was uh, one of the big mountain stages in the race. The riders went 116 miles, uh, over four KOMs, uh, and technically it's a mountaintop finish, but uh, it wasn't quite uphill. Well, up, yeah, uphill enough. I mean, a fantastic stage. Uh, everybody's expecting a group sprint, but uh, Sylvan George is from AG2R took off at like 126 kilometers into the race of 128K and just motored. I mean, unbelievable ride. Chapeau. Chapeau. Absolutely to, to chapeau. Monsieur George. And uh, I thought he was going to get caught. Uh, you know, Garmin was chasing and chasing and chasing. And uh, 30K, no, it was 20K to go. He had three minutes and 40 seconds. And... It, it was coming, but he, he was just tapping on the pedals. He wasn't slowing down. He was tapping on the pedals. There was there was definitely concern or discussion after the race that some of the time gaps hadn't been adequately communicated and all of that. But still, I think they're just watching him ride the way he was riding. I don't know that they were going to bring him back even if they had good gaps. I mean, those guys were riding hard, and so was he. Tailwind, and they were going super fast, and that, that of course, helped him. Absolutely. George has had a little bit of a tailwind, but to be out there all day, dropped all his breakaway companions, a fantastic ride. Super exciting for us because we didn't know what was going to happen. Was he going to stay away, get caught? And then the group sprint, you know, Sagan was was uh, second. Vilitz was uh, third. And you mentioned he got a four-second time bonus. Very smart sprint by him, picking up a little bit of time yeah, bonus. But moves it's always different overall. when you're sprinting for second. You know, oh, some of the other guys get up there and they don't get up there. But uh, big, big win. So, you know, Sagan has four of the six stages. SRAM has won five of the six stages. Now what's going to happen tomorrow? And uh, just a small note on AG2R, uh, as of today, they would have tied the record for the longest streak, the longest winless streak in pro cycling history for a team. And they broke it not once, but twice in one day as Sebastian Eno won a stage of Circuit Today Laurent. was the day? Well, today was the day. Dang. So two in one day. They definitely broke through in style. like getting the monkey off your back. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. But I don't think they're going to get another one tomorrow because tomorrow's stage is really tough. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's short. It's, uh, it's only 76 miles, 78 miles long, but uh, we go over three categories climbs, two category twos, and then the uh, the ore categories finish atop Mount Baldy where you know what it's all coming down to this no it is all coming down to this you know the Glendora mountain climb fine the whole second half of the race is all climbing Levi he's gonna have to go out there try something if he wants to win I got a feeling he's just riding this race now for fitness I mean, yeah right? I, I think so yeah. Horner has to attack early and then the other guys are all gonna sit and watch I mean we've yeah. talked about it a dozen times you know TJ uh, Talansky Danielson Zabriski, Hastings, Village, they're all going to have to wait till that final steep section, yep. final six, seven kilometers. And, you know, the race is going to come down to, to seconds. And there's only 39, 34 seconds separating these guys right now. There's no time bonus at the finish. Right. So whatever happens out on the road, it's going to be very easy to figure out who takes over the lead and who doesn't. I per personally, I think Zabriski has good climbing legs and I think he can be there. Yeah, I, you know, talking to people, obviously Zabriskie isn't really on people's minds, uh, at least in the broader public, for a guy who can defend this. But talking to people within the race, he's a good climber, and on a good day he can stay there. Uh, Brian Holm told me that he thinks that Chris Horner will definitely be going for a stage win tomorrow. Another name that he mentioned to watch was Robert Gaysink. Uh, Gaysink could definitely be going. He's up there. He's going for GC. So if things start exploding, it's going to be really tough. And this is uh, this is a steep climb. There's not a lot of tactics and a lot, not a lot of back and forth. It's just whoever has the legs. Yeah, you just have to hang on. And a lot of teams have put all their eggs in one basket bmc right i mean right they've done nothing it's tj yeah uh, it's all tj radio shag nissan they've done nothing it's all horner so there's teams out there get uh Robo bank with Haysink. it's like everything falls on this last mount or on the mount baldy stage if these teams are going to come out and of course everybody can't come out with winning or winning the stage right so there's going to be teams that come out of this race with absolutely nothing and that's part of the gamble and the change in the way kind of teams have to do anything you have to sacrifice everybody for one goal because the racing is so tough. I also want to mention congratulations for Salas yep. with the KOM jersey. A big battle Fantastic today. Fantastic ride today. He had to make the break. He got into the break, and that's not easy. He had to mm -hmm. battle against Boyle from Spider Tech and ended up coming out on top. And kudos to them, too, because they got not one but two riders in the break. They also had Andy Bajadali in there, and those guys were able to tag team Boyle a little bit so that uh, you know Bajadali would go, Boyle would have to follow him, and then Salas would go. And then on one of those KOMs, Bajadali even came around and pipped Boyle for the, for the points. And so they're basically putting Wally further and further back on every one of those climbs. Really superb ride by him. Yeah, but now we're at 7,000 feet and I'm ready to get back down to sea level. Yeah, this is a snow summit. We're staying down at sea level. Yeah. Joe's getting dizzy. <laughs> Punchy. Anyway, that's Race Radio. Thanks for joining us. You're like a rock there. Couldn't even move you. Look at that. Oh, look at me. You knew it was, it was coming. Balance.